Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today is another day where we do motion graphics and uh, this time we're going to be making this fruit cutting animation. This was posted on Isidium, a plugin maker for Cinema 4D and uh, this one was made by uh, Vision Control mains with their plugin Xparticle. So we're going to try and do that in Blender. Uh, no plugins, no add-ons, just bare-bone Blender. So things first, we're going to model this strawberry fruit. And uh, we can start with, with the default cube, just going to give it a subdivision of two, apply these subdivisions and uh, yeah, shape it like I want and just uh, bring this down like that. I'm going to give it another subdivision again, so set the subdivision to one. Let me turn on wireframe uh, so we can have it like that apply that i want to add that strawberry detail so i'm going to use a decimate modifier and subdivide use iteration of one that will change the pattern of our subdivisions to this pattern and i think i might need more subdivisions so let me add a, another subdivision up here and i change this to one so that we have more subdivision and apply that then i'll also apply this subdivision so that this is the modifier is applied to the mesh now we have other pattern we're looking for so go into edit mode and select everything hit i twice to insert be careful not to insert too much because there are some faces that are just too small uh, so if you insert them too much they are going to create a few issues push this a bit in using alt s to push them along their normals before we insert again so that we have a more a stronger pattern uh, actually if i add a subdivisions surface we're starting to see the pattern we're looking for but uh, we need more depth into this so i'm just going to let me first turn off the subdivision i've added i'm going to insert this again but uh, the issue because i have these smaller faces uh in some areas especially like these here if i insert again uh, we're going to start to see some of them intersecting and uh, creating a few issues like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just eliminate them from, from the selection. I can use shift H to hide everything else uh, that we don't want to insert. And uh, then to eliminate these smaller faces, I can select any large face. So let me select, I think these should be the largest. So shift G area and just reduce the sh threshold to eliminate some of the smallest pieces. So can increase the threshold and uh, now I can insert again when we no longer have such issues but again you don't want to insert too much because you start to see issues uh, after that you can scale this you can scale the selection but so we don't want to just scale them in you want to scale them by, by in video selection so we're going to use the period key to access the, the pivot point menu and then select in video origin so you can select scale them now and now uh, we can scale them in to the point where they are like points uh, that way we get something like that and uh, then push this inside and uh, another thing we could do at this point before you unhide everything if you unhide are we going to get the the other selection back which is going to make it harder to select the other parts before you, you unhide use shift d to duplicate this other selection and uh, hit p to, to separate the selection into its own object so now i have these and the, the grip itself. These are going to be the seeds on the grip. So let me first hide those for a second. I can go back here and unhide uh, the mesh. And so we have this. If I turn on subdivisions, now we get something that looks like a grip. Uh, the only thing that is, is lacking are the seeds. This looks more like a, a golf ball than a grapefruit. So what I'm going to do is just first turn this off and go back to, to these. Uh, select everything. And uh, remember, we need to be in, in video origin scale. So I can scale this down a bit. And uh, now if I turn on the subdivisions, yeah, we're getting something that looks more uh, like grape. Go to the seeds. This is the seeds area. Uh, we want to create a seed. I'm going to create something very simple uh, here. Just So this is going to be our seed. Now what I can do, I can come here and uh, give this uh, a particle system here and uh, turn on advanced in the source we want to be faces and uh, the particles per face turn off random order also use one particle per face like that and uh, under render we want to select our set that object and select our seed like that and you can see we're getting our seed uh, the orientation is off so we're going to go to rotation turn that on and uh, change this to normal the rotation is still a bit off so what i'm going to do is just select this and uh, just let's look at this and rotate the original seed on the z until we have every every seed looking like that facing the right direction now if i bring back this i can push this out yeah something like that and now we have a grapefruit 
If you want to shape this, all you have to do is just select the two meshes and go to edit mode and hide everything that you can turn on proportional editing as long as you have the two meshes selected. Uh, I mean, by that I mean the one with the seeds and uh, the grapefruit itself and uh, now you can push them a bit so that uh, we get a shape that looks more like a grape, like the strawberry. Then with that, we can start cutting these into different pieces. We're going to start with the original mesh here and I uh, can turn off the subdivisions for now and now come in here. If you hold down on the knife tool, you see we have a bisect tool. We're going to use that. So just make sure you have everything selected and uh, get the bisect tool. Just hold down and drag uh, to get this tool to work. And uh, you can see we can bisect this in different pieces. So you can create a selection like that. Go to edge mode. You can see where we have cut. Hit V to separate those parts. And now I can select any of the faces and on this side and hit L to select that piece. And now we have, let me turn on proportional editing. Now we have this piece separate from the bottom piece. I'll separate that as well to be to make it its own piece. Let me turn on random colors so we can see what we are doing here. I can also do this again with another bisect tool. You can do this as many times as you want and uh, you also want to reset the origin of these uh, to the center of the origin of the geometries and uh, now we have three separate pieces. They, they have a gap here so to fill that in just select this boundary so you can go to edge mode and hold on out and then click on this edge loop to create to select the boundary then hit F and uh, we have filled that like that. But now we also want to maintain a very sharp edge but uh, if you have subdivisions on it's just going to create a few issues there. So to, to maintain uh, the sharpness I'm just going to use Y uh, to make this separate from the rest and uh, now if I turn on subdivisions uh, you can see we have uh, we are maintaining the sharp edge as we want it. Uh, you're going to do this for the other pieces. Uh, one thing to caution you is that uh, when you have these smart polygons, uh, adding a subdivision is going to slow down everything. So make sure you disable this it as you're working. Now the seeds are also are not yet separated. So we can come in here. You can see the points that make up uh, our seeds. So, so what I can do to keep them separate, I can just select them according to where they are on the different parts of uh, the this. And then hit P to create another piece separate from that. So I can now parent this to this, so P, and now if I rotate this, you can see those pieces are working. Now you might also have this issue where some of them are just going uh, through the mesh. Uh, that's okay, you can either delete the faces that make up that, uh, so you don't have a piece like that, or you can just select the face. Since this is these particles are by per face, you can uh, move them a bit and uh, you, get, you can get them out so that they are not sticking out like that. You can do that for this piece and this piece and now you'll be good to go. Now the next part is just texturing and the material. The material for this is very simple. If we look at this, I just have this, this texture. All I have to do is just UV unwrap this face and match it to that texture and uh, send the texture color to the base and then add some sub subsurface and then some bump if you want and uh, set up a top down gradient uh, like that using the UV. So when I rotate these UVs, you can see the gradient rotates as well and I then give that some color and uh, that is now my outside material. To animate this, all I did is uh, just added an empty like this, parented these pieces. Remember, the seeds are also parented to the skin. So then I have this control P. So when I move this, I haven't separated these seeds, so I'm, let me first uh, remove those uh, so that I'm only dealing with the parts that have already finished. Uh, so yeah, you just animate the parent, give a keyframe there and uh, a keyframe, maybe give it a slight rotation like that. So that's our animation. And uh, maybe at some point like this, we can animate the separation. So I'm just going to get these initial keyframes there and then just start separating them uh, the way I want. Remember, you would have the seeds attached onto them like uh, we have on this here. So yeah, like that, you can slow down this a bit. Or you can uh, make it quick and then slow it down for some slow-mo, so like that. Uh, so that was the animation. Now the, the water is a very, very simple setup. 
and uh, let me show you here it's just uh yeah i have this mesh here you can see it's just a simple plane you can see how simple this was i added an array so that is longer but i still have an easy way to edit it and then i added solidify to give it some thickness and then a subdivisions to smoothen it then i have a curve in this shape here so this is animated to go along that curve and since the camera is just looking at this small area of the curve it looks like water in slow motion and i also added some displacement just to add some small organic look to this you can see the curve is traveling on and everything else was just about lighting and other project files are going to be available on my patreon page if you want to check that out and also on my youtube membership page and gumroad all links are going to be in the description thank you for watching